All right, so today I'm headed back to LA for rehearsal, but my wife and my daughters are gonna go to the mall. We get to go actually the same route for a while and then we're gonna split and love each other and kiss each other and say goodbye, temporarily. This boy named Kane, that too? Did they hang cuz? <laughs> they hung cuz as a, as a warning sign, look at it. station seen as many people at this airport. Japan is a hot spot. So I got checked in and everything, but uh, had to cancel the flight. I had to cancel myself, actually. Turns out the rehearsals that I was going back for in LA got uh, moved and I would just be sitting in LA for like 10 days. So they took me through like some staff areas that I'd never been through before. Obviously only staff, uh, like a top secret elevator and stuff like that. That was pretty cool. So now I'm waiting to get my bases that I checked in. I checked my double base case uh, and I'm waiting for them to get it off the flight for me. So I'm sitting here by customs. This is actually, <laughs> It was a pretty funny little experience, man, because I, I never done this before where I had to, like, say no to a flight. You know what I mean? Uh, not in this manner. A domestic flight, but a, but a international flight. I have, but we just kind of just walked away. I did that in Europe before. It was a flight when I was on tour some years ago, and we didn't want to get on it because we didn't think it was cool. And so we just was like, no, nah, and we walked away. But this is the first time I actually did it in this manner uh but everybody's been so nice man like they like oh don't worry you know we'll get your your luggage this is that and other so shout out to the native man shout out to japan for that so they got me sitting over here by the crew staff area i don't have to go over here and look at all them people man there's so many i tell you even though i had to skip out on this flight i thank the lord for the the service they provided me i wouldn't have been tripping if i had to wait in a long line and stuff but it was cool. They they brought me through the little top secret elevator, and it was another staff person on the elevator looking at me like, "What's what is Cuz doing on this joint?" But I was getting escorted though, and uh, they was really nice though, man. The lady at the information desk, she was like, well, "I'm gonna call Delta, and they're gonna pull your base off and stuff like that." So I'm grateful to the Lord for this experience, man. See, I would have been about getting on the flight right now, honestly. Uh, yeah, I would have been I would have been checking in pretty soon, but thankfully I found out this stuff about rehearsal within enough time. Cause otherwise, man, I would have just been sitting in LA for like ten days, um, doing nothing, missing my family. You know, little Hannah, my daughter Hannah, me and her got this different type of bond now because she's getting older. She's about to be seven months, and uh, she's really learning me. I feel like you know and. and in the middle of June when I actually start the tour, because the tour is gonna be, you know, about two months long. So I'll be away from her for at least about a good month before we got a break. So I'm, I'm actually, you never know what the Lord be doing, man. And you never know why, you know, I don't know what other reasons why this came to a halt like this, but I'm grateful because one thing I know, 
I know the Lord don't make no mistakes, man. And um, it was so much joy in my daughter Haley and her voice when my wife told her that I was coming home. She was like, Daddy's coming home, yay. And she started celebrating. That does something to me, man. It makes me emotional, man. It does something to me, you know. I'm I'm grateful to the Lord, though, to be able to play my bass. And, you know, if the Lord grants me the opportunity to inspire people around the world or whatnot and perform and play and all this kind of stuff, but you're going to miss your family, man. And I'll be missing the mess out of my family. So if I don't have to be away from them, I'll be right at home. Me and my wife been walking every day. I'm going to go right back to it tomorrow. It's supposed to rain. Speaking of that, I might do me a big old walk. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to do a big walk around Tokyo just in celebration. But we're going to figure it out. I'm going to let y'all help me on that, what what, uh, what my destination will be for the walk. So I got my base. I don't think they're going to make me wait in the custom line either, man. They've been real nice. How many people back there, man, lined up? And they got me standing standing right here at the thing. I can't really show it, but they got me standing right at the exit. I think they trying to let me out. I don't mind waiting in the line now, but you know, y'all gonna, y'all gonna bless a brother and let me out of here, then all right. I'm just glad I can get back home to the family, man, honestly. Yeah, 